I'd like to welcome you all here today. I'm Chuck Poole. Most of you recognize me. Um, I'm the Assistant AD for Athletic Communications. And before we get started with what's a very exciting day for us here at Rice, I just want to go over a couple procedural rules as we go forward with the, uh, the presentation and also the, the media part of the evening or the afternoon. First of all, just please make sure you have your phones on vibrate so we don't have any cell phones busting out in the middle. Uh, secondly, at the conclusion of the presentation, including the, the modeling session, we'll take a group photo here out front with all the models. And then after the models are going to move out to the lobby area, that's where the t-shirt distribution is. And if any of you want to get pictures with any particular models uh, wearing the gear, you will take care of that out there. When that's going on, then all the media will be in here. We'll do our interviews. So that's just the lay of the land. It's an exciting day. And we'll quit looking at me, and I'll introduce our athletic director, Dr. Joe Cogard. about it, you have your rice, and the stereotype of it is, oh, they're not going to be that athletic, or they're not going to be strong, or right? they're, they're nerds, pretty much. When I go out there and I do my first event, whether it be the 60 meter dash or the 100 meter dash, and I win it, that kind of gets me really jacked up and pumped and motivated to keep moving forward, because then the rest of the competitors are like, oh, wow, that kid's here, he's not joking around, he means business. go in there and you face every challenge head on and you compete with whoever it is that's out there. You're a rice owl and get out there and compete because you can compete with them. Look, I'll be honest, before I came to Houston 12 years ago, I didn't know much about rice. But once you move in to this area, you realize what excellence is all about. They're doing great, bold, and big things. And I just love being around a college campus, number one, but two, a college campus that strives for excellence in all that they do. And that's really, to me, what rice brings to the table. Rice has been integral to the growth and development of the city of Houston. Houston is the fourth largest city in the United States, but it is arguably one of the most international. Rice, too, has grown from a small regional power to an international destination university. Rice has so much packed into a fairly small package. That small package makes changes in the world. I'm proud of Rice. I'm really glad it's in Houston. Sometimes Rice doesn't get the attention it deserves, but it always gets the respect it deserves. <laughs> Carl 
Allgard. I'm the director of athletics at Wright. And I'm going to spend just a couple of minutes walking you through the process that's led us to this moment. Uh, we really started working on branding in 2014, about three years ago. And as we thought about branding, we, we kind of cut it into two different buckets. The first is, what stories are we telling about ourselves and how are we telling them? And that's led to things like the video that you just saw. And the second part is, how do our, our, our logos and our word marks and our fonts convey our ambitions accurately? So in the spring of 2015, we began a series of conversations with our constituent groups. Alumni, current student athletes, coaches, administrators, and our fans. And additionally, we surveyed 25,000 different people to ask them a question about, what do you think about our marks? Do you think uh, that they tell the story that we want to be telling? What story is it that you think Rice ought to be telling? And that led us to uh, a, a process where we discovered, or a, an outcome where we discovered three real uh, key ingredients for us to go uh, from that point and then reformat our marks. The first was that there's a strong affinity for the old English R. Uh, but maybe a, a recognition among our closest uh, constituents that it's not a broadly recognized mark. The second thing that we learned is that there's great fondness for the owl and all that the owl represents but that the current owl isn't dynamic, aggressive, and sharp enough, uh, or as sharp as we'd like. And the third thing that we found out was that our fonts, our word marks, are not legible. We need to do a better job with that, something that's consistent, legible, and aggressive. So we took all this information and began work with uh, Torch Creative and our apparel partner, Adidas, in designing uh, new marks that would complement our primary mark, which is the Old English R. This is a very iterative process. We, we tested concepts. We came up with designs. We brought them to our student athletes, to our coaches and our fans. And we revised them over the course of the last year and a half. And what we came up with was a new OWL logo, a new word mark, and a new uh, series of fonts that complement our primary mark, the Old English R, and that really convey a forward-thinking, uh, aggressive, and bold vision for the future while also paying proper respect to our past. So without further ado, I'd like to unveil the new uh, Rice family of marks. The owls are rolling over the tide. Touch off the celebration! The owls are rolling over the tide. Touch off the celebration! The owls are flying home with the national championship! There have been many moments of great success wearing the blue and gray representing the Rice Owls. More than a century of history and continued tradition of excellence have led us to embrace our past and also to learn from it. We pay tribute to the passion, integrity, and unconventional wisdom that got us to this moment. And we built a bold and aspirational new identity for future success. It is all part of the blueprint to elevate Rice Athletics to where we belong, competing for championships. Now is the time when our identities come together as one. Our goal with the brand refresh was to establish a consistent aesthetic that best represents Rice. Over an extensive 12-month process, we conducted surveys, interviews, focus groups, and market research for greater insight into our brand. We asked the people who matter most, our student athletes, coaches, administrators, alumni, and fans. How can we better reflect you as a whole? The feedback we received suggested we fuse modern with traditional styles to design a distinct new identity moving forward. We saw an opportunity to create something clear and visually memorable that would complement our primary mark, the Old English R. Consistency sets a strong foundation of who we are and where we are going, so we knew we needed to refine and reinforce the brand for generations to come. Unity boosts everyone up. Together we will establish a recognizable and reputable brand identity. Remember our past, revitalize our present, realize our future. This is Rice Athletics. We understand that it's going to take a process to transition them into the, the stage across all of Rice Athletics and so we created three different phases. The first phase is introducing it today to the public and then throughout the week we're going to have different uh, activation events, giveaways at baseball this evening, at tennis this week, 
uh, this weekend and then across campus. And so the goal is that, again, we want our students, our student athletes, and the Rice Athletics community as well as Rice University community to really adopt these marks and feel like they're a great, authentic representation of Rice Athletics. And so over time, uh, the next phase will be in the fall when we try and transition in the new marks into the uniform kit, into uh, training apparel. And then the third phase will be finalizing that full transition uh, across the renovations of facilities and anywhere else that there might be um, older marks. But again, just want to reiterate that the Old English R isn't going anywhere. We understand that that's a huge part of the Rice Athletics identity. We're just trying to further enhance that and uh, build up the recognition for the Rice Athletics mark. Um, and so again, the primary R will still or will be our primary mark, but the, these will complement them in the design elements that we've, we've created. Um, and then you can find more information online. We have a brand page that outlines all the uses of each element. Um, and right now, uh, we want to show you uh, our student athletes sporting the new gear. And we, we know that they're going to be some sample uniforms and some retail that we'll have immediately available. But before we do that, I want to introduce head coach uh, David Bailiff, who will be our MC for the evening. All right. <laughs> You know, and you can purchase the gear at shopricehouse.com or at the university bookstore. I tell you what, it is great job. Congratulations. You look up there, I know it's got my corpuscles popping. I can't wait to get over the bookstores and get some things going. We're going to get the fashion into this going now. First, with the new jersey for football, Nashawn Ellerby. Come on out and model it, Nashawn. Spin around a couple times. Let him see. Oh, there's nothing on the back yet, but it'll be there. <laughs> the front and the back. Does he not look fast in that? He was a 4-5. He put the jersey on, went to a 4-4. It's unbelievable what this new gear is going to do for us. We can't wait to get it on, get it going. Thank you, Nishan. Your 20 seconds is up. <laughs> Next is tennis. Come on out, ladies. Look, think about this on the tennis court. Unbelievable how well prepared they'll be, huh? That yellow ball will always, is it an ace? Huh? Every time guaranteed in the new gear. That's why you got to go get it too. GPAs go up. Everything goes up in this new stuff. So run out and get it. That is our tennis team. Thank you, ladies. Great job. Next, men's basketball. Look at that. Ready to dunk, huh? Ready for full court pressure. It doesn't get any better than that. That is a bold, bold looking owl on the front. Very aggressive. I like it. That's incredible. Scott, what do you think? Fire it up, huh? All right, thank you, man. Great job. Basketball. Volleyball, come on down. Bold, aggressive, ready to serve. Huh? Slide around on the floor. I love the way you play. It's even going to be better in that gear. How fired up are you, Jenny? Look at her. She's back there smiling, taking pictures. New volleyball gear. Thank you very much. Next, baseball. Take me out to the ball game. Look at that, huh? Ready to drive it over the fence. Unbelievable. Look at how those muscles pop in this new jersey, huh? It's incredible. All right, go win this one tonight, huh? Proud of you. Keep it up. Swimming, here they come, training about five in the morning, hardest working guys, ladies in the athletic department. Um, this is not what you're going to wear to compete in, though. No, okay, new t-shirts, new gear, it helps their GPA, he's going to look good getting on the bus, heading to compete. <laughs> Track and field. It even sounds fast coming down those stairs. Huh? Did y'all hear them walk on? They're going so fast, the cups and cotton candy and everything was moving with them. That's going to be incredible, huh? Love the new look, love the new designs. Track coaches, you fired up? Huh? All right. 
Thank you, track and field. All right, next, women's basketball. Ready for some champ more championships than that, huh? What do you think, Tina? Love it. All right. Big applause from the head coach. Good job this season. Next, men's tennis. Why don't you show us what they would look like when you're, like, serving? Now, let's get those right. Yeah, I mean, we need some action shots here. Oh, how cool is that? Ready to compete. Thank you, guys. Soccer. Nice gear, ready to go. Nikki, you excited? I'm running right now to the bookstore and getting these soccer jerseys. Those are the best. I love them. Y'all ready to compete and play? Y'all do a great job, ladies. Thank you very much. And make sure you go once again to shopriceowls.com and the gear's available at the University Bookstore. All right, well, I want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, we really, throughout this process, wanted to make sure that, that the new family of marks and logos for Rice Athletics uh, are owned by our constituents, our fans, our current and former student athletes, our coaches, our administrators, and everyone associated with this university. And I truly believe that throughout this process, which was really shepherded by Lizzie Haldane, our Director of Branding, and Jana Woodson, our Director of Marketing, that we accomplished that. So, I'm grateful for their hard work in bringing us to this moment and really excited for the future. Thank you.